Hello everybody. So I've just come outside my house, this is my back door, and I'm literally about to go get my ladder to pick my mountain sauce up, which just fell in the plastic bag yesterday. And let me turn this camera. It's my dogs. Look at it there. So it's just fallen. I checked on it five minutes ago and I was like, oh let me go grab my ladder. So this is it. Oh goodness me, it's a bit squishy. Oh yeah yeah. There we go. Ooh, so that's the side that ooh I can smell this. So that's the side that it fell on. And that is the other side. So a little bit of green, yellow, and pale. The flesh is yellow. So, this is the tree right here. And this was, where was it? It was right there. Can you see that? Right there. So it's just fallen in the last couple of minutes. Um, this is the trunk. These are my first ever fruit that I've set and held on. Let me just set this down. Don't move. Let me just give a little look at this tree. So I have my Brazilian cherry. Barbados cherry, I should say, growing out of it. I'm growing from down there. Kona, leave that alone. Leave that alone. So, this is the tree. It looks just like the soursop. Here's some more fruit here. And there actually was a big one here, which I was planning on picking as well. Did it fall over? Oh, there you go. There's a bunch there. Oh, I did too. So that's my neighbors. That was a bigger one. Oh, I was planning on picking that one now as well. Okay. Um, let me give you a look at Soursop. The OG Soursop. Mountain Soursop. So the leaves on the mountain are pretty similar. I'd say a little bit more matte and then the soursop have that gloss to them. Maybe a darker leaf as well actually on the soursops. Um, my soursop has just finished fruiting about a week ago, 10 days ago, and we still have some set there. A whole bunch of baby ones. Um, yeah, so let me grab my knife and bowl and we'll go sit down and try this out. Mountain Sarasop. Um, Anona Montana, they call it. I actually like that name. So, this is the one. Anona Montana. Isn't that a cool name? That's just a cool name. Montana. It's quite dense, quite heavy. It's spongy. Like it's soft, but still got a bit of density to it, so not like completely soft. It smells like... It smells like a floral pear. Yeah. Like a, a more tropical pear. It's nice. It's a very nice smell. Uh, fragrance. I've actually been smelling this because you've seen in um, where my tree is. As I walk down my back stairs, uh, over the last week or so, I've been smelling this scent. Very, very nice. It doesn't really smell like sour soap. Maybe a tiny bit. Tropical sour soap. Like a, a tropical sour soap pear. Um, so this one fell two, three days ago? Three days ago, so that's a smaller one. Um, but it's been, it was eaten by something, so I thought, let me just leave that there. Anyway, I'll cut it open. Yeah, 
I've never ever eaten this fruit before. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, that's strong now. It smells delicious. <laughs> Um, so this raggedy looking thing is a soursop. I'll just cut it before I make sure it was okay. So this is from my tree. This was the last one that fell. Put it in my chiller about seven, eight days ago. Maybe, maybe a little bit longer, eight, nine. So it's still fine. Yeah. So the soursop is like that distinct soursop scent. I don't even know how, it's so difficult to describe if you haven't eaten or smelled soursop before. This is a lot more fragrant than a soursop. Um, how do I eat this without making a mess? Here goes. Um, very disappointing. <laughs> okay. Ugh. That's actually yuck. Okay, so <laughs> don't be fooled by the scent and the look. This is not great. I've heard that everyone just uses this as a rootstock. So, um, people graft different types of soursop onto this because the rootstock can handle colder temperatures. Little, what you doing? Um, and I've, I can attest to that because over winter, so I live in the east coast of Australia, when we get down to like the coldest nights of the winter, like six, seven, eight degrees Celsius. And that is about f mid forties Fahrenheit up into the fifties. And it only stays that cold for a few nights. So my soursop will lose 80% of its leaves over winter, this one. And so it sets its fruit the fruit get bigger over winter, it loses all its leaves right at the end of winter, and then as spring comes on, all the new leaves like come on. So you have the old last dying holding on leaves, and then you got the new flush. So it never looks bare, but it does look like it's being pushed to its limits in this climate. This one, however, is holds on to maybe 90% of its leaves. It does the same thing as the soursop does where it loses its leaves in late winter, but it never looks as bare as the soursop. Um, so apparently uh, people have grown this down in Melbourne, I think, which is even colder than where I am, up, in, um, up further north of Australia. Um, what else, what else? Okay, let me just cut my soursop to get this nasty taste out of my mouth. So much better. Okay, the seeds are dark brown black in the soursop and then they are this golden color. Um, the soursop is just so much better. As old as this is, The flavors are like a clean, nice, that distinct soursop. It's, it's sweet, it's sour, it's tangy, it's just refreshing. 
this one tastes it's like a jumble of you know what I'm gonna try the other one because I can't even describe it it doesn't taste like pear like it smells This one is a little bit more firm, I feel. Or well, maybe that's just from in the fridge. Okay, this one's definitely a little bit better. Um, ugh. It's got this yucky bitter aftertaste okay it is bland pear mixed with bland mango mixed with bland i oh, mixed with banana that's what it is it's banana pear and a little bit of mango all bland the sweetness is a Like a one. There's n there's literally no sweetness. How disappointing. <laughs> I've heard that people say this is good for the rootstock. So I want to grow all the varieties, right? I've got the Anona Montana, um, the, which is the mountain. Anona Mercata, which is the soursop. And I've got the um, Relinia next to it. So I've got three in a row. Very disappointing. So this is the golden. Not so big. The tips are not doing that great. But it was maybe half the size about two months ago. The leaves are a lot lighter because this is the golden one and I've seen photos of the golden ones being picked and the green is actually a little bit greener like 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 that type of light green compared to the normal sour salt which is that dark green and then I've got another one here which is I said it was the fibreless but I was mistaken this one so these two were a similar size when I got them and this is that big now so this is um, Arusha Arusha so this is supposed to be one of the best tasting sour sops. Um, the golden one I got because it's a little fancy, but apparently it's not um, as great as this one. Arusha. They have the they call it Lisa. There's a Lisa which is great, and then Arusha which is also great. So I've read online a few people said that their favorite is Arusha. So I may graft some of these when the branches get a bit bigger. So I will plant these two out somewhere and I can graft this onto the mountain soursop which is right there let me just get up you can see it leaning over the fence yeah if you want to do some grafting give this one a go especially if you live in a colder climate and you can't grow soursop because soursop is one of like the greatest fruits in the whole world definitely um, if you're gonna grow this based on the taste don't sadly the smell is a hell of a lot better than the taste um, yeah how disappointing when I heard that it was a rootstock I thought oh yeah whatever I'll just you know grow and when I was smelling the scent of the last few weeks I started getting more and more excited because I was like that's gonna be good it smells good it smells fruity tropical and it tastes like that okay guys till the next video see you later